Selection Set While working on drawings in AutoCAD, it is important to know how to select objects to move them or modify them. AutoCAD provides you with some simple selection options or selections sets. Let us use the Erase command to demonstrate the selection sets. To select a single object, you can type SL in the command line and click on the object that you want to select. AutoCAD will not allow you to select more than one object. To select all objects on the drawing area, type all in the command line and press enter. AutoCAD will automatically select all objects. AutoCAD also provides you with a window option. When you move your cursor from left to right, you will find a blue box appearing on the drawing area. Any object that lies within the window will be selected as shown in here. When you click on any point on the drawing area and move your cursor from right to left, a green rectangular window appears. This is known as the crossing window. Using this option, you can select all the objects that lie within the window as well as those through which the window passes. When you select the fence option, AutoCAD automatically selects the objects through which the fence line passes. The window polygon is similar to the window option. After giving the WP command, you can select the different vertices of the polygon. You can see that any object that lies within the polygon will be selected. The crossing polygon is similar to the crossing option. Like WP option the CP option allows you to select the different vertices of the crossing window, selecting the objects that lie within the window and those objects from which the window passes through. The remove option on the other hand allows you to remove selected objects from the selection set. If you have some objects outside the selection window, you can use the ADD option to include more objects in the selection sets. The last option allows you to select the last drawn object on the drawing area. The previous option allows you to select the previously selected set of objects. The undo option allows you to deselect the last selection. Any object drawn in AutoCAD will have grips or aperture points. These are nothing but base points that allow you to change the object without entering a command. By typing DD grips you can turn on the grips mode, which allows you to stretch, move, copy, rotate, scale, and mirror selected objects.